All right. So for this problem, we have the sine of 135 degrees minus 30 degrees, which in reality is really what I'm trying to help you guys figure out is the sine of 105 degrees, right? And when you look at your unit circle for 105 degrees, we don't have a coordinate point that we can easily evaluate for sine for 105 degrees. So what I did is I took 105 degrees and I rewrote it as 135 minus 30. So now we need to evaluate for the sine of, of this uh, difference. All right. So to evaluate for the sine of the difference, what we notice is that formula is going to equal the sine of one angle minus another angle is equal to the sine of u times cosine of v minus the cosine of u times sine of v. So it's a little bit different than the sum for the cosine, which we just went over. Pretty similar, but different. All right. So now what I need to do, when I want to do my angle, so now my angle is sine of 135 minus 30. So I could say, that's my u, and that's my v. Make sense? Now the one thing to remember is it's u minus v. This is not a negative 30 degrees. v is 30, right? Does that kind of make sense? It's u minus v. Put that in parentheses if you want to. The value of u is u. The value of v is v. It's not a negative v, right? It's a positive v. Yes? But you're subtracting from your original equation. That, wouldn't that technically make that negative 3? Yes, you're, but I'm, when, I'm, when we're going to evaluate the angle, when I say the angle v, we're talking about the angle v as in 30 degrees, not as in negative 30 degrees. OK? okay? Um, think, just like if I said, you know, if you're adding two angles, 30 plus 60, right? It's 30, and your two angles you evaluate for are going to be 30 and 60. If I say you, I want you to evaluate for 60 minus 30, you're still going to evaluate for the angle 60, and you still need to evaluate for the angle 30, not evaluate for the angle of negative 30. We're going to take into account the subtraction process. That's what this formula helps us do, is include the, you know, include the subtracting of the two angles. You just need to understand that my v is 30. So when I say find the sine of u, that's going to be the sine of 135 degrees. The cosine of v is going to be 30 degrees. That's what I just want to make sure you understand that. Then we're going to do minus cosine of u, which is 135, and times the sine of v, sine of 30 degrees. All right. So now we need to go back and determine what are our points by using the unit circle. So we have 135 degrees. Well, ladies and gentlemen, from here to here is 90 degrees. Add 45 degrees, and we get 135. So what is that angle? Negative square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2. All right? Same thing as 3 pi over 4, 135 degrees. Then let's look at the next one, which would be 30 degrees. So 30 degrees is going to be this angle right here, which is square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. Does everybody follow so far? OK. So now, let's just go and evaluate, right? Remember, we're just doing sine and cosine, so we're just doing the x and y coordinate. So the sine of 135 is going to be the square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of 30 degrees, square root of 3 over 3 over 2. Minus. The cosine of 135 is a negative square root of 2 over 2. The sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. Now we multiply across. Square root of 6 over 4 plus the square root of 2 over 4. Then we factor out the common term. Since they both share a 4, right, and they both share a square root of 2, you can now factor out a square root of 2, leaving you with the square root of 3 plus 1. Oops. Factor out the square root of 2 over 4. So it's going to be the square root of 2 divided by 4 times the square root of 3 plus 1. Okay. You're going to get a lot of the same solutions. Okay? And you get a lot of ones that are just different off by like a negative sign and so forth. But that's your angle. Okay. This is the last.